in the winter we get a lot of days like this where there's not a lot of sunshine and the solar panels are just ticking over not producing as much energy as we like but what we do have is we have this little stream which runs fairly consistently all throughout the winter and then dries to just a trickle in the summer so if we can produce 100 to 300 watts of electricity from from this little stream that would be a huge help and get us through the uh, with through the winter with our electricity supply we've got about a five meter head between where the water comes into our field and where it exits our field down by our bottom gateway down down near our neighbors cars so that's our limiting factors we've got a five meter head and whatever flow rate this is.
This was another experiment I came up with. This was to roughly give us the force of the jets of water coming out of the different sized nozzles. So what we've got is we've got a just a piece of wood balancing onto a couple of nails on the top of a piece of RSJ off cut and at this end we have a piece of aluminium curved up in a sort of a similar fashion to a uh, Turgo or Pelton bucket so the nozzle would be pointing in this sort of angle and then ramping around the curve at this end of the beam I've just nailed on a, an old piece of broken tape measure and that gives me the distance from the pivot point to wherever the weight is um, our proper weights I've taken back up to the kitchen so it's just got a rock on there at the minute but we do have, we, we're putting on one kilo and two kilo and three kilo weights and then sliding them along to give us the different torques on this pivot point um, so I know that the centre of this bucket is 800 millimetres from the centre and we know the positions of the weight and the weight itself so we can work out from that we can work out the force of the water jet on the bucket Yeah. 